You got any shipping to do? I have a little bit, so if you have any shipping to do as well, why don't you get it all ready and ship with me? Won't nobody love you the way they should Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good Won't nobody check those body cameras by your neck Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Kitizen, and ThreadUp. And today I'm trying a different format of a video that I've made before, which is a ship with me video. And typically when I do it, I'm usually sitting right here at my desk and you kind of get like a weird random like side view of me shipping and I kind of talk you through it. But I'm really excited because for today's video, a company called Flexispot actually reached out and asked if I would be interested in reviewing one of their products, which is a standing desk. And I actually have been looking for a standing desk. And so them reaching out to me could not have come at a more perfect time. At the end of the video, I'll share with you just how easy and quick it was to get the desk set up. But essentially what a standing desk is, is it allows you to adjust the height of the desk. So right here at the bottom of all of my shipping supplies, there are two little buttons, one to make it go up, and one to make it go down. Now I am five feet tall, so I actually don't need it to be very tall. And in fact, I'll probably move it back down a little bit, but this is really great because there are some people who work from home or even you know in their office and they work long hours and they are sitting for a very long time. And so this is really great because it allows you to sit for a little bit if you want. And then when you feel like you just need to get up and be on your feet, you can adjust the height of your desk. You don't have to go to like a brand new location. And that's really nice. And for me, I have always wanted to ship standing just because I am moving around a lot and it does just burn more calories and help you to live a more healthy and active lifestyle if you are able to get a little bit more standing time in your day. So super excited about this. Thank you so much Flexi Spot. And it is just nice to have more surface space to work with in my day to day. So if it's kind of created like a little bit of an L shape, if you will. And like I said, at the end of the video, I'll show you how easy it was to set up how my current system works now. And it is plugged into just you know, the outlet in the wall, which is really easy. So I thought I would share with you how I do my shipping. I'll probably record some shipping tomorrow as well. Because today was just my sales from Sunday as well as one sale that came in this morning and they all happen to be on Poshmark. And I know a lot of you are actually pretty interested in how I do my shipping on Mercari and eBay. So if I get any of those sales that trickle in today and tomorrow, hopefully I will, then I will show you how I ship those out. But for today, we're just going to focus on, I believe it's five Poshmark packages. Also, if you notice that I'm talking weird, it's because I have my Invisalign, what are they called? Those trays in and I'm trying really hard not to be super lispy or super lippy, but um, they make it a little bit difficult. So I apologize. Um, hopefully you can bear through that with me. But yeah, let's get right into shipping. So the first thing that I do is I write down in my notebook all of the different things that I need to ship out. I write down who it's going to and I write down next to it where in my inventory system and my inventory system is just on the other side of me here, but which bin it's in, what number it is so that it's easy for me to pull out. So this is what I go off of. I have some shipping supplies here. Um, I kind of estimated like what types of boxes and stuff I would put them in and I'll show you as I go what they fit in. If you want to see everything that has sold for me, I do have a weekly what sold video. So definitely make sure you check out that video if you want to see everything everything that has sold for me in the past week. And also, if you enjoy this kind of ship with me video, then definitely let me know in the comments below. One of my favorite YouTubers to watch for these kinds of videos is Mackenzie from McThriftsy. And if you're not following her yet or subscribed to her yet, I will link her channel down below. I love watching her ship with me videos. And so I kind of took a lot of inspiration from her videos. But let me know if you would like me to continue making these kinds of videos, if you find them helpful. And also, if you are brand new to my channel, first of all, welcome. And secondly, I would love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel because I do, you know, these kinds of videos as well as the what sold videos that I already talked about and thrift hauls and tips videos and all that kind of stuff. So if you're excited to ship with me, go ahead and hit that like button because it does help out my channel and let's get right into it. All right. The next thing is this altered state shirt. And if you want to see what it looks like, um, then make sure you check out the what sold video because I don't want to unfold it. It already looks really cute, but it's just like a long sleeve sleeve with like bell sleeves um striped shirt from altered state this sold for twenty dollars that was actually my full asking price because altered state it doesn't really go for that much but it's funny because i've sent out a ton of offers on it and then it just sold for my full asking price which is really fun so this i'm just gonna wrap using some tissue paper and i get this package of like 35 sheets for a dollar at the dollar tree 
And for smaller things like this, I will actually cut it in half. So this is just the other half. Um, I'll just cut it in half because that's usually enough for me to wrap it. And then I just wrap it like a present. And I only do this for Poshmark packages because Poshmark buyers are a little high maintenance and they've come to expect this kind of packaging. So I'm going to just fold this over and like I said, package it up as if I was doing a present. Let me know in the comments below, do you guys wrap your Poshmark packages differently than you do eBay or Mercari if you sell on multiple platforms? So that's what it looks like once I have it wrapped. And then what I will do is I have like yarn or something. I get this kind of stuff. There's a store in my town where people will donate just kind of crafty things and then they sell it for like insanely cheap. And it's designed for like teachers or kids or whoever who just need like, you know, inexpensive things to craft with for their classrooms or at home. And so this is probably like a quarter, I don't even know. And I can use it for a ton of packages. Um, so this is going out to Morgan. So I'm just gonna write, dear Morgan, cause I don't think she is a viewer or anything. And I just say, thank you, they sign it. And then what I do with these kinds of packages is I will tuck the card underneath the ribbon. So the final product looks like this. And I think that this will fit, let's see. This should fit inside of one of these boxes. This is, it's another one that you can like assemble on your own, kind of like that last box that we looked at. I don't know what the name of this box is called. I love this box though. Um, the ID number is the 1096L, that's what it says. And it's a nine and one fourth by six and one fourth by two inches. But I love this box. So I'm just gonna set this right there and it's really easy to assemble again you don't need any tape or anything although i will probably just use one piece of tape to make sure that it's like gonna stick especially given the elements of cold and other stuff that could go through um and i try not to use like those plastic um mail or what are they called those like poly bags or whatever just because um maybe you can recycle them i feel like i heard someone say that but I feel like they're not as good for the environment. So, you know, th using things like tissue paper and these cardboard boxes, I like that because, um, you know, people can recycle everything that's in here. They can reuse the yarn. So that's, I like to try to be as sustainable as possible with my shipping. So this was going out to Morgan. I have her label right here. And that one is done. So it doesn't take me too long to do like the yarn and the tissue paper and stuff, but I know it, it's kind of annoying. Um, okay, next up we have this. This is a Ralph Lauren white cable knit sweater. It got so much attention and it's actually Ralph Lauren sport, but um, it got so much attention, so many likes on all the platforms. It finally sold using my closet clear out method on Poshmark for $28. I had it listed for like 35. Sorry, I'm like all out of sorts because this is my first time using this table. So I forgot that like I had set most things up on the table to use. So I'm going to get some new tissue paper and I'm going to wrap this really quickly. I will say if you want to use tissue paper, I personally would recommend against using color tissue paper just because the color from the color tissue paper can bleed onto your garment if it gets wet. So, you know, you've probably heard those horror stories of, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to fold this a little bit differently to get it to fit. But you've probably heard those horror stories of people getting packages in the mail and, you know, they're packaged nicely, but because they used um, colored tissue paper and let's say their package was sitting out in the rain or in the snow, by the time they got it inside, there was moisture or liquid that had gotten onto the package itself. And as a result, the package or the, I, the item was ruined. And so I definitely don't recommend using colored tissue paper um, for that reason. But I do think that this kind of works fine. I also recommend against putting like confetti or things like that in your package just because it can be such a pain. Like I know for me, if I open something up and there's a ton of 
confetti and it like spills everywhere, I get really irritated because it's kind of a pain to clean. Same obviously goes for like litter or all that kind of stuff. Um, okay, this is going out to Georgia. Georgia, however, does not live in Georgia. Dear Georgia, thank you. Georgia lives in New York. So this is going to New York. And this is not going to fit in any of those like pre-assembled boxes. So this I will probably put honestly just in a Tyvek envelope, which honestly gives it really good protection too. And for these envelopes, I put the label on first just because otherwise once you have a garment inside, it makes it look kind of crazy. So this is going out to Georgia. I'll put the label on. I will put this in the bag. Close it up. And the nice thing about all of the shipping things that I've been showing you, like the boxes and the Tyvek envelopes, you can get these for free at USPS. You order it online and then they ship it straight to your house. So it's pretty amazing. I do have like compostable mailers and poly mailers for when I do my eBay and Mercari sales. But for Poshmark, again, I just try to be as sustainable as possible. Okay, next up we have this pair of Paige jeans. They are like the Hoxton something something jean. I don't know. By the way, you probably are noticing that my packages or my um, items are all coming out of gallon size at block bags. And that is because um, that's how I store all of my inventory. So now that I have sold this pair of jeans, this bag, which was number 447, it's going to get another new piece of inventory that goes in it. It'll go in the bin and I can reuse those gallon size bags over and over again, which I love because again, we're trying to help save the environment. You know, as clothing resellers, we like to say that we are saving clothes from going into the landfill, which is great, but I think that it should also apply then to like how we do our packaging and how we do our inventory. Um, you know, we don't want to like create more waste in the way that we do those things. So I like using those reusable Ziploc bags because um, I can use them again and again. Okay, so this is going out to Mandy. I don't know very many Mandys. The only Mandy I know is Mandy Moore. And I don't like know her personally. Okay, so that is signed. I will put that here. And I think this will also go in this box. Again, this is the 1096L. Uh, it's a little big. Let's see if we can make it work. If not, I will show you another box that I like to use. Yeah, we can make it work. Okay. So I just take off that, close it up. I will for sure make sure to put at least one more tape on this. And then I will put the label on. And then we have one more package. Um, this one is a jacket, so it's a little bit larger. And let's see, how do I want to do this one? It's so that you guys can learn how to draw something. So um, why don't you all get either a whiteboard or paper? It's up to you. And then you may need like crayons and stuff if we have enough time. So if you want to get something to cover with, I think crayons are better than uh, marker for this, but. It's up to you, whatever you guys have at home. So again, get your paper, get your whiteboard, whatever you're going to use, and then you'll need some things to color with if we have time. Eli, question? So it's this jacket right here. It is, ooh, I almost fell over. It's the HK58 by Hawk & Co. I don't know what it is. It's like a youth jacket, size 14. I think it's for like snowboarding and stuff. Um, definitely a good winter jacket. So I think what I'll do is put the put this actually in one of the two and a half gallon. That's what this is. I kept some gallon size, but it's two and a half gallon bags. So let's see, let's fold it up somewhat nicely. And then We will stick it in there because my tissue paper is not big enough for a jacket like this. And hopefully, you know, the idea is like with 
this gallon size bag. Hopefully they can reuse this too for something. But that fits, that fits perfectly in there. And then I want to squeeze as much air out as possible. And then I have a box I can put this in. So I'm going to put that jacket in this mailing box from USPS. This is the, let's see, 1095. So I'm going to put this in the 1095 box. Again, I just take off the little flap, the adhesive flap. I stick it in, I will throw in my card, and that's it. So, this is going out to, you guys, things are everywhere. I don't know where my thing is because I've just never used this setup before. This is going to Isabella. So, dear Isabella, thank you. Sign my name, throw the card in tape up both ends just once so that the box doesn't open while in transit because that would be awful and then we are good so you can see i'm actually going to tape this one up twice you can see it doesn't take me too long i feel like to make my packages for poshmark look a little nicer than just like throwing them in a bag um and i'm willing to take the time i do get a lot of feedback and love notes talking about my packaging so until it gets to the point where I just can't do it anymore because of the amount of time that it takes I'm going to keep doing packages like this I hope you enjoyed today's packages hopefully there'll be more from tomorrow bye hi guys it is the next day I have three new sales and I did also send out offers to likers on everything on Poshmark that had a like on it and I sent out offers to watchers on eBay I had like six items that were being watched and then I also promoted some listings last night on Regari in an effort to like try and get some more sales for today it didn't really work these were just like natural sales that came in but I will show you how I would package them up especially the two eBay sales because they are a little bit different so we'll start off with an eBay sale and I don't sell a lot of hard goods but um I did have a friend drop off just like a bunch of stuff from when he used to teach music as well I think I mentioned this earlier but I'm a high school choir teacher so one of my colleagues um who no longer teaches music had like two boxes of stuff and one of them had like some instruments like recorders and shakers and stuff like that and at the time I was selling on Amazon so I sent that stuff into Amazon but then some of the stuff I just kept enlisted and a lot of it wasn't worth very much but this is just a book called The King Singers Book of Rounds Canons and Part Songs. The King Singers is like a really famous um, choir in England but the book itself like it tells you right in the corner it only retailed for seven dollars and ninety five cents so I think I had it listed for like five or six dollars on eBay with free shipping because that's what everyone else had it listed at. Um, it sold for how much did it sell for I'll let you know here I, I didn't write that piece down but um like around five dollars or something like that and shipping did cost two dollars and eighty cents because I am shipping it out media mail media mail in case you didn't know you can send out things like books and textbooks and stuff media mail um, I think you can even do that with like DVDs and stuff as long as there are no ads so like technically you're not supposed to send out magazines media mail because there are advertisements within the magazine but like this for example it's just sheet music. So what I did was um, I got sent something in this poly mailer or it's like a padded Uline bubble mailer. Um, I just saved it because again I'm trying to reuse as much stuff as I can. I did also rip off the shipping label that came on this because if you have an item like if you're reusing a box or something if you don't take off the old shipping label or at the very least take like a sharpie and color over your label and especially the barcode they will not take the box. So you want to make sure that there's no other label on your package except for the one that you are using to ship out. So I just went ahead and ripped it off. Sometimes I can't rip off the existing shipping label and if that's the case then I'll just slap mine on over on top and I've never had any issues but I was able to um but I was able to rip it off of this one really easily this fits perfectly in here and when I weighed it I use this um Accutec scale I love it I do have it linked down below it is part of my like Amazon affiliate link program or whatever you want to call it but um if you do purchase using my Amazon link I do get like a small kickback and this is relatively inexpensive which I really like so I had weighed it with all of the different elements of the packaging so this 
plus, you know, the bubble mailer plus my thank you card. And it was under, I wrote this down, let's see. It was under six ounces. So I just went ahead and put six ounces in as a weight on eBay. I selected medium mail and then it came out to $2.80. So I'm gonna go ahead and write my thank you card. This is going out to Frida. Dear Frida, thank you. I will sign my name. Sometimes if I have a lot of time, which today I don't because I have to teach in like 20 minutes, but if I have a lot of time sometimes, especially with stuff like this, like I'll personalize it even more and I'll say things like, I hope you make wonderful music or I don't know, stuff like that, really cheesy stuff. And because I've already used this poly mailer, there was something else inside of it that was sent to me. I'm gonna go ahead and just use some um, scotch tape, just some shipping tape, and I'm gonna just fold it over tape it down so that it's nice and secure. You know, I, I talked yesterday about how I like to be as sustainable as possible and reuse things as much as possible. I know for me, I have received packages and people are reusing things like Amazon Prime bags, um, you know, like the bubble mailers that Amazon sends out items in. I've seen people reuse like, you know, they went shopping at like Everlane or something and they reuse that mailer um, and they just wrap my, you know, item in it. I personally don't mind. And I've also never gotten like negative feedback or negative review for reusing stuff like that. It is a possibility. Like some people may not like to see you ship out their item in like your old Gogurt box or something, but for me, I just try to reuse stuff as much as possible. So anything that comes in the mail, whether it's from ThreadUp, whether it is Amazon, whatever, I save all the boxes. I save everything because I don't want to throw things out if I can help it. So I'm going to put the label on. Like I said, I already printed it using my Dymo, which makes it so easy. And this is done. And I have my Ikea bag here. So I will throw this in my Ikea bag and then... After I do these other two, I will be ready to go for merch pickup. Okay, so this is something that sold yesterday. It's a Prana dress. It is v-neck and it's a size small, just like, yeah. I mean, it's pretty cute. It's pretty plain. It kind of crisscrosses in the back. And this item is actually shipping out to Hawaii, which makes sense. Because at first I was like, who needs this kind of dress right now? But if you live in Hawaii, that makes total sense. And typically before I ship things out, I will just look at it and make sure that there's no like little last like dust bunnies or little pieces of hair or anything. Um, this looks pretty good. There were just like a couple of pieces of fuzz on it, but that looks really good. I want to make sure I like check for like any little threads that need to be snipped or anything like that. So we're in good condition. Obviously I could like just take a lint roller to it too, but um, I'm just picking off any little things that I see. And then I'm just gonna fold it up nicely. I do have eBay mailers or like poly mailers that I'll show you here really quick. These I get on eBay using my quarterly shipping coupon that eBay gives people when they have a store with eBay. Um, I forget what, kind of store I have. It's not the basic one. I want to say it's the one above basic. So I get like a $50 store credit or like coupon code or whatever to shop on the eBay shipping supplies store with. And I usually will get like these poly mailers. I will get like the eBay branded tape, um, but that's pretty nice. It's a nice little perk of having an eBay store. And it's nice to not have to like worry about where you're going to get your poly mailers from because I'm just getting them for free from eBay. So I'm going to just go ahead and stick this in here. I personally don't like put this in another plastic thing. Like I don't put this in a plastic bag and then put it in the poly mailer with eBay and Mercari. I generally will just take the item, throw it in the bag, put my thank you card in there and bada bing, bada boom. And honestly, these poly mailers are enough protection even if it rains or snows. Um, moisture is not gonna get inside of this. And so I think it's fine. Again, I have not gotten any sort of like negative reviews or feedback because of doing that because I don't have like another layer of protection. I'm just trying again, like I said, not to be super wasteful. And so I've been doing it like this and people have been fine with it because people of eBay generally just want the item as described. They want it in a timely manner. They don't need all the frills that like Poshmark people seem to need. So this is going out to Sean. Dear Sean, thank you. Um, I'm excited because today I am going to try doing some inventory on this table. So I'll let you know how that goes. I had gotten a really sweet comment from someone on my YouTube channel in one of my videos, and I can't even remember the video right now, but they were talking about how they use a standing table when they're doing inventory 
and how helpful it is. And so I wanted to kind of try out their method because they really like spelled out for me how they did it. And um, I'm just excited to try this out in a few different capacities. By the way, I will have the website for this company linked down below in case you wanted to try it out. I do believe the retail price of this, okay, I don't remember off the top of my head, so I will put it right here, but um, I just think it is such a really cool option for if you are trying to level up your workspace and you want, like I said, some sort of, you know, standing desk or just desk that will change height, um, especially if maybe you have someone else working at home with you and you need something that is adjustable. I am freaking short and my husband is like average height so you know we could both use this and not have to fight over the height because we can change it so easily so I love that all right and this prana dress by the way it weighed um 10 ounces it weighed like a little over nine ounces so I said 10 ounces and it is costing me four dollars and 71 cents to ship out so I already printed the label um like I said it is going to Hawaii which is pretty cool. I was able to send that out first class and that's going in my Ikea bag. All right, last but not least, this is my one Poshmark sale of the day so far. And it is this North Face fleece. This one does have some like, I don't know, I just need to lint roll it. So I'm gonna get my lint roller really quickly. We will lint roll this just so it arrives in perfect condition. I personally just get my lint rollers from like um, the Dollar Tree, but I actually feel like right now I'm still working through like one time my mother-in-law came to visit and she just brought with her like 50 lint rollers or something like that, like it was crazy. And so I am still working through the lot that she gave me. I don't even know like how she knew I needed them or like why she came with them that one time she came to visit many, 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 it seems like years ago, but it was probably like a year or two ago. Um, but it was, it, you know, it did prove to be a godsend, which is really nice. So this one just has like little, I don't know, like little dust bunnies, but also like little pieces of hair. It's not really like animal hair. I don't know how to describe it. And typically I will give it a pretty decent lint roll before I put it away in my inventory bins. But I guess this one, I didn't really do a very good job because there's still little things and it's not even necessarily pilling but it's just little yeah i don't know so i when i'm lint rolling i just kind of focus on one section at a time so i started with like the back of that one sleeve now i'm doing the back of the jacket and i'll be able to show you what it looks like here in a second it is a really nice jacket and i think that i picked it up i'm going to need another sheet of this I believe I picked this up either at a Plato's Closet 90% off sale or I picked it up at the consignment store for under a dollar. I kind of think though that this was from Plato's Closet because the last time that I went, there was like nothing, nothing left in the women's section. And I was so disheartened because I was like, oh my gosh, this stinks. But then when I went to the men's section, it was, I went in like, I wanna say like July or August or something like that. And when I went, there was um, just men's like kind of cold weather outerwear stuff. And at the time I was like, well, that's kind of a bummer because I didn't really wanna list that kind of stuff. But all I did was kind of save it till now. What's under here? Oh, the zipper. I just saved it till now. And now that I'm listing this kind of stuff, it is selling really well because now it's the perfect season for it. There is a section here that I'm going to just do a really light sweater shave on just because it is a little bit pilly and I think if I just spend like a couple minutes on it, it'll look a lot better. Again, I probably should have done this before I put it away in my inventory, but sometimes I just want to put stuff away and then I just deal with it later when it sells. So that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, let me sweater shave this little area down here. I'll show you what it looks like before and then after. So here is the before. 
I just have like a really cheap sweater shaver that someone from my church gave to me for free. The brand is Evercare. I don't really recommend it. Like I feel like if you're going to get a sweater shaver as a reseller, you should get a pretty good one. Um, I am in the market for one. So if you have suggestions, leave them down in the comments below, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and kind of work on this little section right here. And then I'll show you the after. Okay, now that I sweater shaved over that section, I'm just gonna go ahead and lint roll over it a little bit to pick up the little pieces that didn't get put inside of the sweater shaver. Um, just like the little pieces of lint or whatever. And it looks so much better. So yeah, that took like two minutes of work and the you know final product is a lot better. So I am happy with that. We'll just keep working through the sleeves here really quickly and then I will turn it around, we'll check out the front and then we'll call it a day. Um, another thing that I do when I ship out stuff like this is I will check the pockets really quickly just because sometimes there are things left in there and people don't generally want to see like other people's trash. I've found like wadded up Kleenex or like granola bars even like in kids jackets. Um, so you just want to make sure that you're not accidentally sending that kind of stuff in your package especially in this day and age with like covid and stuff like people are already pretty weary i feel like about um ordering stuff online to begin with because they just don't know how clean you are how clean your house is all that kind of stuff so i just don't want to give them any reason to freak out about the purchase that they made from me so now that this is in pretty good shape what i'm going to do is it is a little bit bigger and a little bit bulkier okay let me check the pockets like i just said um, we are good and I typically check the pockets when I list the item too like when I photograph and all that stuff but just in case it doesn't hurt to check again so I'm going to go ahead and fold this up and I might be able to wrap it in tissue paper let's see I will fold it I like to get it to look really nice so that the first impression of the item right when they open it is really good there's nothing like a good first impression. All right. And you know, like, I just feel like fleece type materials, they just attract so much little like dust and whatever. So at some point I have to just stop picking at this and just let it be. Okay. So this is what it'll look like. I think I'm going to try to go ahead and put it in the tissue paper. So let me get that. I think I'll need two pieces of tissue paper and I'll show you why. So let me put this here. So what I will do is I'll go like this and then I'll take this one and I'll tuck it under. Oh, you know what I just realized? I'm fairly certain that my scotch tape is not up here because my kids were using it for some sort of project. So I'll be even more extra and use really cute washi tape to close this up okay so let me get some washi tape hold on so I'm going with this washi tape that has like little pictures of houses on it you know it's kind of reminiscent of like the stay home orders that a lot of us are experiencing or that has kind of been our reality with corona and all that stuff so hopefully they get a kick out of that so I'm just going to use this to keep the tissue paper in place I should only need like four pieces. That's another good thing about this table. I don't know what it's actually made out of, but my table here has a layer of like paint on it to make it, you know, look like wood or to whatever, like that brown paint. And it always comes off when you put like any tape on there or anything like that. But this, I can just stick my tape at the end and it'll be fine. It's not gonna pick up anything off the table because there's nothing to pick up. Okay, so now that that's closed up with my cute little washi tape, I'm going to get my ribbon, or not my ribbon, my yarn. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bow around it. Hopefully 
I get better with this, you guys, like talking while shipping, because usually I'm just so used to shipping in silence. And, you know, maybe I'll have like a YouTube video or a podcast on, but I'm not really used to like talking to someone while I'm doing this. Um, let's see, this is going out to Jessica. Dear Jessica, thank you. And then I'll sign it. But if you did enjoy this kind of video, if you want to see some more Ship With Me videos, definitely hit that like button and let me know in the comments that you would like to see some more of these. Or if you have any suggestions for like different things I can do within the Ship With Me videos, let me know. I don't know if these will be like a regular occurrence on my channel, but I know a lot of you do have questions about how I ship. Um, even like someone has asked me before to do a tutorial on how I get my packages to look like this and how I like, you know, tape them and stuff in the back. So I just thought I would show you really quick. But if you have have suggestions as far as what you would like to see please let me know and again by hitting that like button that's how you let me know that you enjoy this kind of content and then I can create more for you. I forgot to mention that for that North Face jacket I put it inside one of my favorite boxes which is the regional rate box A. The dimensions are what is it where is it oh right there 10.9 by 2.375 by 12.8125. I feel like this is the perfect box for like jeans or like sweaters that aren't like super thick this way but like maybe you just um fold it in half and um you know they just fit so nicely in here there's not a lot of extra room and i love that with poshmark you can use the regional rate boxes um you can use the flat rate you can use the priority you can use first class so it's really nice because you can use so many things and all of this stuff i get for free from usps and i just have them ship it to my house so now that i have this i'm gonna put the um label on and then i'm gonna throw it in my ikea bag and get it outside so that the person from uh, USPS comes and picks it up. So that is it, two days worth of shipping. It wasn't a whole lot and there wasn't a whole lot of variety as far as you know the different kinds of things that I was shipping out or even the different platforms that I was shipping out items from, but hopefully you get the picture. I will try to do another one of these when I have maybe more sales on another day. And I hope you learned something. If you are interested in learning more about the desk or even watching me put it together, I will have footage of that coming up next. And that's it for this portion all right so i'm just going to do a voiceover as i show you what it was like for me to put together this table i did for the most part put it together by myself i did have my husband help me like bring um you know the pieces of the desk in and overall it basically took me 20 minutes to put it together by myself and that was with me like staring at the instructions for like a good couple minutes but then once I started going it was really easy and it did not really require any tools outside of what they already sent because they sent like the allen wrench and all that good stuff um I am doing this in my pj pants and then just like a shirt from school but right now I'm just kind of putting the feet on um the whole thing was kind of heavy I think the box was like over 50 pounds I don't remember exactly so it is a pretty sturdy table it's not very flimsy or anything like that but um, I do like putting things together and even with that being said it only like I said took me 20 minutes it was really simple to follow the directions um, much easier than like Ikea instructions or anything like that and it didn't require any batteries or anything it just plugs right into the wall and it was pretty awesome so there's my husband helping me set it up as far as like getting it right side up and that was it all right, so let me show you what we got going on. It is a little messy. Um, before I got this standing desk, I used this area to house like boxes and stuff. So they're still there, just kind of shoved underneath the desk because this is where I go when I have like bigger things that need to be shipped out. I know I could probably save a lot more space if I just broke the boxes down and maybe I will do that. But for now, that's what we, what we have going on. And this right here is um, a thread up box that I have of stuff that I've collected to send into thread up. This over here is a fort that my kids were making and I kind of ruined it right there, but uh, that's what's going on. So this is the desk that you just watched me assemble and let me show you it in action. So watch this. So here's the up button. Can you tell it's rising? And then look at this. So let's see how tall it gets. Oh, I'm going to have to get up with it. It gets up pretty tall and I am pretty short. So <laughs> like just to give you some perspective, I don't think that's really going to show. I can't use it at its tallest height. Like that's just ridiculous for me because I'm five feet tall. But if I were to lower it a little bit more, um, 
I can actually get a really good height to stand and do some work, which is exactly what I wanted. I am so excited to have another surface level to work on. And um, just to kind of show you my setup here now, um, I have this desk. This is where I always do my shipping and where I do like all of my work. Again, like super messy. I have so much stuff on top of my desk. And this is the view you usually see when I shoot some of my videos, like that bookshelf is in the background. So now I can probably honestly just like prop my phone up on the standing desk and not have to use my tripod. Although I guess I do need to use my tripod because that's what has the ring light, but I'll figure something out. I think I can still use my tripod because it's adjustable if I just have it like on the lowest setting. But the most exciting thing is that I'm not gonna have to like move all the stuff out of here when I'm shipping, but I can stand and do some shipping here. And kids can also kind of work with me. I still have that chair right there. I know like to get to it, is not a lot of space but they're skinny they'll manage or they can um sit here and work with me while i am working here or vice versa so i'm super excited about it i will move back so you get one more glance at the wonderful table and it wasn't very hard to put together either so that was cool thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you are considering trying out this flexi spot standing desk let me know in the comments down below and like i said earlier i do have it linked down in the description but it is so cool i'm so thankful that flexi spot reached out to me about trying out this product and reviewing it on my channel and i don't know maybe it should shows up on your holiday wish list because you saw how awesome it is. So there's that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one and happy Thanksgiving. Bye.